Hey guys, welcome to another Kronker tutorial. This video is going to be a complete Kronker resource hopper guide. As always, any addition, omission, or clarifications to the content in this video will be added in the pinned comment below. Let's begin. So first up, I'm gonna teach you how to create the Kronker resource hopper. So let me show you the file format. This is my Kronker resource hopper, as you can see. Kronker resource hopper. Inside the CSS, model, sounds, textures. Ignore these two for now. So where do I get all these? It's from the official mod zip, which is here. The link will be in the description. Okay, the mod zip name is https colon slash slash .io slash mod zip slash 5.7.2. That's the mod zip version 5.7.2, right? So you just, if you want the most updated one, just change the version to like a large number, like 7 or 69. Then you get the updated version. Just copy this link, paste it into your browser. It will instantly download the mod zip. So after you download the mod zip, it's here. These are all the folders in the mod zip. It's like a 800 megabyte file, so it might be quite big. So CSS, CSS image, image model, scare, scripts, shaders, sounds, textures, videos. Those that I want to use are in my own Kronker resource software, which is CSS models, sound, and textures. I'm going to walk you through all the folders now. Basically, CSS is where you have your main underscore custom and social underscore custom CSS. So if you want that, here. And then CSS image is basically just this, this dog. Image will be medals. You can customize the medals all here. Let's say you want an image of a fish for be, to be the medals. Drop it in, name it model underscore one in your own Kronker resource software. For models, it's going to be all the models here. Attach body collectibles. For example, attach would be the attachments, like the scopes, the scares, basically the jump scares that they removed in, in the game anymore. Previously, there was the jump scares at the packages where you would get a package and it would immediately scare you like boom with the, with the person screaming or like the basketball, I mean the baseball one. I'm not gonna show that though. Like this one. Basically this this thing, open up your screen and then like have a one one billion decibel sound. But now they removed it. Oh, okay. Scripts would be your settings, which they removed also remove support for that in the regular mods. Shaders, basically your shader, right? They also removed that I think. They removed the option to include shaders in your mods sound it's all your sounds they're all mp3 files so if you want to change let's say your sniper sniper rifle file it's weapon underscore one here i've shown you weapon underscore zero is fist weapon underscore one is sniper rifle it's all here you can refer to this it's all in my discord server you can join it if you want a link is in description so let's say you want to change the sniper rifle sound the default one get your mp3 file that you already have let's say it's a song you drop it in here and re rename it to weapon underscore one so that will that will basically swap the sound for that song that you want to play do that in your concrete resource hopper i'll teach you how to install a concrete resource hopper later for textures is basically the similar to models just that those are all png files not mp4 files attach is like the tree basically the two attachments and the one flap videos would be the deep space dive video which is this one and also the i think the crunker steam the the loading page like when you go in there's going to be the loading page where it shows you the short clips of the people shooting others with deagle and all that okay that's done how to install the crunker resource hopper first up as you saw just now in it and manifest.json those are here so that you can make it into an extension in your browser. Okay, you need to have these two files if you want it to be an extension in the browser. So how do you do that? How do you install a Kronker resource hopper into your browser? Go to your browser. Go to extensions, which is more tools, extensions here. I could click this and manage extensions. I already have it put in. So go to your Kronker resource hopper. Like the main folder they have it just create that folder any any naming it doesn't matter and then create your model sound textures or whatever they need 
and put these two files in. They are in my Discord also. Uh, resource Swapper, underscore Resource Swapper. I mean, under the modding Resource Swapper here channel, I have the two files here. So drop that into your Chronicle Resource Swapper folder. And then drop that folder into the extensions. Remember to turn on developer mode. But support for this might not be available in 2023. So if you're watching this in 2023, like the video is probably going to be posted in 2023. It may not be supported as uh, support for the old manifest.json will be removed to increase security, like basically to ban temper monkey and all this stuff. <laughs> And the uh, init is just a JavaScript file, I think. Eh. So that's how you install it in your browser. Next, how to install on Steam and Official. Steam and Official, go to Documents. It must be this. Under your, your PC, then Documents. If you download that Steam or the Official Client, they should be, they should have created this folder for you already. So just enter that and add these folders if you want. These two init and manifest files are not uh, necessary at all. So I have all these and it will work. To install it in other clients, other custom clients like null client, idkr, or gato client, like the gato remastered. Once you install those clients, there'll be a folder here, say called idkr, enter that. There's usually a folder called swap. That's basically the main folder that is Chronicle Resource Swapper. Inside that swap file, I mean inside that swap folder, you have all these. So just drop them in. So uh, I'll draw it out. So you have your documents. This is your documents folder. Documents folder. Inside that, there'll be like a null client folder, say. They'll create it for you. This is a folder. Alright. Folder. Inside that, there's usually a swap folder. Then inside that swap folder, your CSS, sound, and all that. Basically the same for IDKR. Instead of now client, it'll be, it'll be IDKR. Or like Gato. If you still have any questions, you can hop into the Discord and ask. There should be some people using Gato and IDKR that can help you out. But if you're using the Forever client, I mean Forever client, I don't know why I pronounce it like that. It's in Microsoft Store. You search Crunker and it'll will, it will pop up. Just Crunker Forever. This one. But after installing it, you won't be able to use mods. You won't be able to use a Crunker is a stopper. Yeah, that's just how it works. You, the for, the forever client blocks it, so you have no hope of doing that. Get a Steam client or something if you want to use it. Okay, let's say you want to upload a mod from bodies. From mod, yes, you have to upload a zip file to Kronger Hub, right? So to create a zip file, select the individual folders here, right click, send to, compress zip folder. The naming doesn't matter, so that you have a zip folder inside are all these. Go to Kronker Hub, and then upload that zip file, and then the mod should work. Some things that do not work in the mod, like I said just now, are the shaders, the settings, and also CSS, and also uh, models for like crates and all the other containers and stuff. All those don't work. But I think CSS there's a workaround where you have to code it differently so that it does it bypasses Kronker's block and it should work. I might make a tutorial on that next time. So I think that's all. I'll be making a CSS guide, models guide, textures guide. All links will be in the description. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the in the comment section below or in the Discord server. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.